welcome if you're new here and welcome back if you've been here before my name is dr lucy of the eye clinic channel and in this channel we teach you about eye diseases and eye conditions and where you can get help we also tell you some of the things you can do in the comfort of your home to sort out some minor eye difficulties so be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know when we do upload and we do this every single week so today and the next couple of videos we are going to be discussing matters to do with allergy so let's get started welcome to this series of videos in allergy allergy is one of the commonest cause of hospital visits by many patients it comes in form in many forms it could be skin allergy ear allergy eye allergy it also tends to affect organs like the kidney asthma is an example of an extreme form of allergy so today we're going to discuss eye allergy which is known as allergic conjunctivitis but may also come accompanied by many forms of allergy because the trigger is basically the same the triggers can be substances in the environment in food or something that one gets into contact with it could include the foods that we normally eat pollen mold or even certain medications in most cases it's seasonal or from time to time so no at no time we'll find a person having allergy throughout the year most of this allergy does not come in single entities for example a child may have eye allergy as well as asthma or sneezing all the time because they have rhinitis if they are in school this becomes such a disruption and school grades may not be as good as they should Eye allergy that we're going to discuss today can cause temporary blindness but can also pose a threat to eyesight or even permanent blindness. Allergies happen when the body overreacts to something that normally other people will not react. The immune system then makes antibodies that cause your eyes or the body to release histamine and other substances. It is this histamine and other substances that are released that will cause the symptoms that we normally see that is itching redness and watery eyes now continuous itching will eventually cause now other complications so it is a whole cascade of reactions sometimes allergy is accompanied by pain and fear of light because of the inflammation caused by continuous rubbing this continuous rubbing can also change the color of the eyes and they appear brownish and quite unsightly i'm sure you've seen some of these children with very brown eyes because of a lot of itching there's a chance that there could be introduction of infection if using hands that are not very clean another complication of continuous itching is thinning of the cornea leading to the protrusion which is called keratoconus this is by far the worst complication of allergy which can even cause eyesight the thinning could be caused by the allergy itself but it could also be caused by overuse of medications over-the-counter medications especially the steroids so my advice is if you're given medications by a doctor please do not continue using it for months and months or even buying drugs over the counter to just continue using because you have the same symptoms what you need to do is go back to the eye doctor so that they can know whether they need to change the medication to something else that is a little bit more subtle to the eye. So now that allergy is quite a lot in our families, in our children, what can we do to reduce that risk? So I'll give you six ways to reduce the effects of allergy. So the number one is to know about the disease and also know about the triggers so that you can recognize the signs and know how to manage them. The second thing is that you need to remove yourself from the offending material if possible. If, for example, you or your child gets to the field and you start itching, then you need to avoid that as much as is possible. The third is simply to stop the body from overreacting by giving some medications called antihistamines to counter the effects of the histamine. The number four is to treat other infections so that you don't get into other complications. Number five is to reduce the inflammation and prevent occurrence of new allergies. This can be achieved by certain medications like steroids, but remember they also have their own side effects. But as I have said, don't overuse the steroids for more than two weeks without getting into the eye doctor to advise you what next to do. Last but not least, allergy testing is very crucial, very important because one is able to objectively 
know the offending allergen and try to avoid it altogether. So in summary, we have talked about the symptoms of eye allergy, which is known as allergic conjunctivitis, and some of the things that you can do to reduce some of these symptoms. In our next video, we will talk about keratoconus, a common complication of eye allergy, which is very serious and can cause blindness if it is not well managed. So be sure to subscribe. And until next week, goodbye.